So, hello everybody. Um, <clears throat> so we are Anne Lott and uh, Bruno Thomas. Uh, we are coming from the ICIJ. It's the International Consortium of uh, Investigative Journalists. So it's, um, it's, it's uh, the organization that uh, released um, Panama Papers that uh, we just saw before. So it's more about journalism than science. So thank you for admitting it, admitting us. And um, so we we are going to see um, how we could use uh, an index machine like Elasticsearch of, or Solar to help journalists to find um, facts and stories among really big co document corpuses or leaks, we call them leaks, uh, in, uh, in journalism world. So we are going to see um, how we started from, from a legacy uh, components and, um, and uh, how we, uh, we had some needs for the journalists and how we used that bricks to build um, an another component or another project called DataShare. And, uh, and we are going to see the challenges and, uh, and how we, we tackle them. So first of all, um, just, just um, a little parenthesis, legacy software is, so, is uh, very often connoted negatively. It seems like a drag that you're, that you're pulling and that, that is lowering the, the, um, the productivity of uh, software development. Here is uh, more at the first sense of the word is something that is transferred to someone. So it's like um, an asset and uh, the asset has uh, some drawbacks and we are going to see how we use this asset and, and remove the drawbacks to, uh, to, uh, to address the new needs of the, um, of the journalists. The second thing about uh, legacy is, uh, is, uh, is it's, so it's capturing knowledge. So uh, we used the, this component because there were knowledge about natural language processing and uh, also what has been done before uh, about the, the main, the huge leaks like Panama Papers. And, um, and the, the other thing is that everyone is producing legacy at some point. So, in fact, uh, really fast after a few months of development, we are often finding that the, the code base uh, that we built a few months uh, before is, is already a legacy. So the first brick was um, Extract. It was a common line tool. And uh, it was used on the Panama Papers. And uh, it was... Uh, 11 million documents and it was uh, 2.3 uh, tera, terabytes. It was used also on Swiss leaks and uh, Luxembourg leaks. And it was about uh, 10K, um, ten, yeah, 10,000 lines of code. It was uh, Java. And uh, the, you can see the, the, um, the workflow here. So basically it was, uh, it was scanning the, the file system so we have uh, we we receive some some leaks on a USB key or a hard drive or whatever, and then it's uh, it's scanning the, um, the the file system and it's putting all the paths in a in a queue and um, a shared queue. Then there are extractors that are based on Ap Apache Tika that are extracting the text and um, and feeding a, a report map to uh, to be allowed to to see afterward which file has not been extracted correctly. And then it's sending the text to a spewer that is uh, outputting the text into um, several outputs like a, a REST service or file or a std out. We, um, we used, uh, with extract, uh, most of the time it was solar. That was the index that was used at the time. And that was one, one of the, the problems that we were facing and we will talk about this later. The, um, then when the, all the, the files were indexed into Solar, 
Then there was um, another open source um, component that we used, was called Blacklight, and it's a uh, Ruby on Rails um, uh, software. And then this this um, Blacklight is a kind of uh, a framework that that can that allow to build um, uh, websites to browse some big corpuses of data, like uh, and it's used, for example, by libraries or universities. And so we used it uh, for um, for the journalists to uh, to help them to use Solar, and uh, without uh, having to know actually the complexity of uh, of, of the the indexer uh, languages and uh, and um, and inter inter uh, inputs. Um, yeah, so, so it was basically uh, quite simple. It's a front application and the, and the backend in uh, Ruby or Rails, and then the, the backend index. Then there was this, um, it was a, um, a repository. It was uh, already called DataShare, but it was not in production. Uh, control. It was not the same that um, the knowledge center that was used by a lot of uh, journalists. DataShare was a proof of concept and was doing quite the same at the beginning. It was uh, passing and, uh, and extracting with TK also. The, the, the new thing was the five, I don't know if, if you can read, but the five um, natural language processing pipelines um, that were used to, um, to extract name entities from, from the text and help journalism to, uh, to, uh, to have a, a grasp of the, of the leaks quite uh, fast. And that was index indexing uh, the, these name entities into, uh, into the index. So the, the two new things here were the, um, the natural language processing and uh, it was using Elasticsearch index. And so we, are, we, we had uh, quite overlapping between data share and extract. And, uh, and we wanted to, uh, to, um, to do uh, approximately the same as uh, the Knowledge Center, but with uh, improved user experience. And uh, yeah, that's it. That was uh, the three main bricks and uh, all the open source uh, world that was uh, bringing us some, uh, some other tools. And uh, we can now explain how we we build data share with this. So yes, so in a in a sum up, so that's the that's the issues that we had to fix. So first, uh, in extract, uh, the um, the package was pretty big, the package in itself was pretty big, so we decided to split it into two parts. One was only the, the, the Java lib, so the, the jar that could be uh, included uh, in, in, that will be included in our new tool. And the, the other one part was the command line interface to, to use it uh, through your terminal, but without any, any, um, any GUI. And um, we, with, um, we faced also the a problem of scalability with the solar index because uh, we had uh, too many uh, too many rows, too many uh, documents in it. So we wanted to to switch or to migrate from solar to Elasticsearch uh, to avoid this problem of scalability. Uh, just as a reminder, uh, yes, just like Bruno said, uh, the the Panama Papers was uh, how many? So 11 uh, millions of documents and uh, our last leak, uh, I don't know if you heard about the Luanda leaks um, two weeks ago uh, about Angola uh, and it was uh, more than 700 uh, uh, documents so that's pretty 700,000 sorry <laughs> <laughs> forget a few zeros uh, documents so yes that's that's uh, that's part of the problem and um, uh, we about uh, about back black light. Uh, we had so it's in Ruby on Rails. I have nothing about it, but it was pretty pretty difficult to modify the interface. 
and I will come back on it uh, uh, later, but the, the web interface, the u user experience is pretty important for us because uh, journalists, but probably researchers, uh, are not tech savvy at all, so everything should be well, well, well seen to, to make their life uh, as easy as possible and our life easy too. Uh, and uh, another problem was uh, maintainability, so about the, the bricks that we had, but also, also about the, um, the work that the journalists uh, wanted to do because they already have a tool that in production, so uh, the the one about blacklight uh, that was working. So we had to develop a new tool, but without uh, without any breaks. So they needed the same the same functionalities without any um, any end of service and uh, with exactly the same documents. And uh, so that was part of the of the of the of the issues that we had. And uh, and then the challenges. So. Um, uh, as I said before about the, um, the huge amount of documents that that uh, usually get at the beginning of the of the, of, a, of a leak, they they get all those documents and the the first question is okay where where should I begin? So the the let's say new challenge of of data share would be to give them some ideas uh, to to how how could they start and how is the have a just have a global overview about the, this leak uh, really fast, and uh, to answer some questions just like um, just like easy questions, just like how many documents, but also uh, how how big is the document? Speaking about uh, geographical location or people uh, in, um, included in those documents, so just like a global overview. So what happened in these leaks? So that's challenging. Uh, that challenges that uh, journalists encounter. Uh, journalists encounter um, really often, but I'm pretty sure that researchers have have quite the same too. So that's probably one of the reasons why we are here. And to answer all these these challenging and uh, faces all these these um, issues, we we developed data share. Uh, here is um, the the, sh the the new schema of the of the tool. Uh, as you can see, uh, part of the workflow is really uh, is uh, really the same that, than before. But we so we we succeed in uh, putting the um, uh, experienced uh, bricks that we had, just like extract in the in the new in the new tool of data share. So there are, there is extract here uh, at the really beginning of the pro process at the scanning and indexing part. And all the data extracted by extract, just like the well name, uh, is will be uh, will be uh, pushed in, into a Elasticsearch index. So that's a new one, and we, we needed to yes migrate the data from Solar to Elasticsearch because it would have taken months uh, to re-index all the all the leaks otherwise. And uh, you can see here that we have the NLP. So at the at the really bottom, that's the NLP pipeline. So we we just uh, get the five NLP pipelines that we add and develop an, an common API, API to to uh, to be able to interact with with it and to. So I don't know if I mentioned that before. Probably not. But the NLP pipelines is uh, just a way to. To collect the named entities in the in the document that we extracted before, so um, yes, that's it. That's that the new data share, and I think now it's time for a demo. Let's cross fingers. Yeah, it works. So here is our uh, demo demo website about uh, data share. Um, probably I should mention that it's an open source tool, so everything is on GitHub, and if you need to. If you need to use it on your own corpus of documents, it doesn't have to be big. But if you just have documents that you need to analyze, uh, it's free for you. So here is an example uh, on the Lux leaks, which is a, a, a leaks that uh, we revealed a few years ago. Uh, so here is the list of the projects. So you may have uh, um, numerous projects here or several projects here uh, separated. And if I click on Lux leaks, I have first uh, the um, the number of documents in the leaks. 
So that's pretty important. And here is the list of documents. So that's, that's the first step. And here on the left, you have the facets. So we built some facets on the, um, on the Elasticsearch. And uh, those facets are the response. So as a response about the global overview of, uh, of the leak and of the document. So by example, here I can click on file types and I will see uh, how many so the different types uh, of document that I have in my corpus and how many of documents of each type. So here in this corpus specifically, I do have only PDF. So, so yes, I have thousands of PDFs in that corpus. And uh, I can do exactly the same for the languages. So I know in one click, I can discover that I have uh, some documents in, in English, French, German, and Italian. So it gives a first overview of the, yes, the languages of the documents in, in, in that corpus. And, um, and the, about the NLP pipelines, here are the results. So, I, I, so all the named entities extracted, sorry, that are from, oh, thank you. Uh, that's uh, about people, localization, and organizations. So here, if I click, I can see that in my, so first in my uh, more than 1,000 document, I, have, I will have a, uh, 40, uh, 47,000 um, different people uh, mentioned in it. And one of the main mentioned is uh, Cole, Mr. Cole, which, uh, as you all know, is, is the main uh, shareholder and, st and stakeholder of the, of the LuxLeaks. But we didn't knew, knew it before data share and before, before uh, reading the documents. So that's, that's a, a good um, uh, add uh, for, for the corpus. And I can do exactly the same with the locations. And here I will see Luxembourg, US, UK, which are the, the main uh, countries uh, um, mentioned in, the, in that corpus. So that's data share, and that's uh, the way we developed, uh, we developed it. So that was the past and the present of data share. And uh, about the future, we have lots of, uh, we would like to develop lots of things, just like adding, adding comments on, on documents, because yeah, I have also have access to documents, so I would, we would like to journalists to be able to put comments directly on, on documents, and um, creating some uh, some dashboard on each project to have a really quick uh, overview uh, of uh, I don't know uh, how many uh, how many documents on which type uh, on, on which type sorry and uh, about the creation date just like a simple histogram on the creation date date and. Um, uh, we would like to re redevelop the installers because now it's based on Docker, and yeah, we have some doubt about the about about it because we have lots of difficulties to 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 with uh, with Docker, and um, and yeah, the the point is that journalists. I, I said it before, but that's really important for us that journalists are really not tech savvy at all. So. Uh, one of the import, most important points is to, to have a, a, a well-developed, well-sync, well -sync, sorry, interface to, to, and easy to manipulate and easy to navigate and dig into the corpus and, and easy to install on, on machines and on computers for, for everybody. Uh, yeah, and we do have, uh, ah, yes, and we wanted to develop a, a plugin, a plugin architecture to, to let uh, developers to be able to to develop their own uh, own plugins, so so that's it. And uh, I hope you you will find the uh, usage for that tool too. And feel free to open issues. Thank you. Should I the, the micro? Yeah. Uh, which one? The Edward Snowden corpus? No, because we, we hadn't, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't think so. Oh, sorry, yes. So if, the, if this tool has been, has been used uh, on the document released by Edward Snowden, so uh, I don't think so, uh, because the, so first the tool is quite new. We released the beta version one year ago. And uh, I don't know uh, if those documents are public or not. So maybe, may, maybe that's the reason.
Not, a, not as, as far as, as we know now. They, they are not using it. They should. <laughs> yes? You know Mark is on the altar? He worked with you? Open so much, sorry? Uh, I, we heard about it. Yeah. We've heard about it, sure, because it's, it does quite the same than us, I think. But not as good as us. Sure, sure. There are lots of tools that that. Uh, so it's not a, a new need because it has been the same need for years and years. So Open Semantic Search is doing more or less the same, and there is uh, the one from OCCRP, uh, Aleph. Aleph is another tool that 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 do more or less the same. But I think that our is uh, prettiest. The, so uh, the question was uh, the um, the language, the programming language used. Yeah. <laughs> so the question was uh, how many languages are supported by the. NLP pipelines. How do you figure out which one it is? Oh, when you take the document in. Right. Yeah, it's it's a question of the of the chicken and the egg, um, because yeah, when we when we are we are detecting the language with uh, um, a small um, framework that is called a language uh, detector, and um, and uh, the problem is that when we are doing OCR. Then we have to provide a language, and we have to 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 make run OCR to to know uh, what language is the text. So for for the moment, um, the OCR we are using Tesseract, and uh, is uh, it's um, supporting. Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's thirty or more language languages. But the so we are uh, extracting text from a lot of languages, but. Uh, the extraction of name, name entities uh, are run on only five languages, or six now. I think there's, there is the Chinese, and uh, yeah, English, uh, uh, German, Spanish, and, uh, French. and French. Uh, a follow up. Um, then the question could be also like, do you have features uh, to let journalists actually declare? That they are sus they suspect that the, that the name entity recognition algorithm failed, or all the OCR. So no, not not. Uh, so the question was: um, Is there some feature to to let journalists know that the the extraction of name entity failed? And no, it's um, it's a uh, it's a feature that we that we are going to develop is how we are. Conciliating all the, the name entities, for example, knowing also that Donald Trump is the same as D Trump, and uh, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, like um, Open Refine uh, could could help us, for example. <laughs> so there are, we are um, we are using what, what we are trying to do is what I call uh, total scalability is um, we we have built um, because we have partners that are in in country that are where there are not a lot of uh, resources like Africa for example and um, and so we we made um, uh, a version with uh, embedded Elasticsearch that could run on a Raspberry Pi. But uh, at the same time, we want it to be able, and we are running the um, the, the the extraction of uh, bit leaks like Panama Papers on uh, cloud computing on uh, on um, thirty or I think the most yeah th thirty nodes at the same time. So, uh, sorry, uh, I did it. Once I've imported the whole project, like uh, I say in 2012, 
and I expect the MLA network co-occurrences of main non-titles from the better No. 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 <laughs> so, so one of uh, the... Sorry, yes. So the question was, uh, from a document, can I extract the, the, the how do you say that? Corpus of co-occurrence of, sorry? Co-citations network. Co-citations, now network of named entities in document. So the, uh, so the simplest answer is no. And the longer answer is, uh, we plan first to be able to export named entities as CSV. Okay. So that would be the first step. And after that, you, you will do your own tricks. Thank you.